60% of 55 is what number? It's a great question, let's get into it. So obviously, well, I'm gonna show you two different methods on how to solve this problem. The first one is gonna be using the keywords in this question. Of is a keyword, and that just means multiplication. So I'm gonna write 60% times 55 is is another keyword and that means equals so is equals what number that's what we're trying to find out so i'm just going to put a question mark in there so this is essentially the problem we have just by using the keywords now what i'm going to do is if i'm going to multiply with a percent i can't multiply it as a percent i'm going to either have to change it into a fraction or a decimal and right now the easiest way to do that is to change it into a fraction so I know that 60%, 60 percent, 60 per cent, per cent literally means per 100. So I can write this as 60 over 100 times 55. And I want to write that 55 like a fraction so I don't kind of get confused. So I'm going to write that as 55 over 1. And now I just need to do the multiplication. But before I multiply, anytime I have fractions, I always want to try to simplify before I multiply. It's gonna save you a ton of work, believe me. So right away, I can tell, well, 60 and 100, I can simplify both by 10, but I could also do it by 20. 20 is a common factor of both. So 60 divided by 20 would give me three. 100 divided by 20 would give me five. And now I can also simplify this five in the denominator with this 55 in the numerator. So common factor would be five, five divided by five is one, 55 divided by five is 11, and look at how much simpler that became. So now all I have is three times 11, which is 33, one times one in the denominator, I don't really need it. So 60% of 55 is 33. That's the first method. Okay, just looking at the keywords and really just using multiplication and changing the percent into a fraction. That's essentially all we did. Okay, let's look at the second method. The second method is going to be maybe a little bit more conceptual and using ratio tables. So we know that 60%, every percent is just a part to whole ratio where the whole is 100, is 100, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a ratio table with part on the top and whole on the bottom. And I'm going to start with my percent, 60%. So the part of that would naturally be 60 and the whole, just like every percent, is going to be 100. Now what we're trying to do, it says 60% of 55 is what number? So 55 is the whole. What we're trying to do is find essentially an equivalent ratio to 60%, right? The ratio of 60 to 100, we're trying to find an equivalent one where 55 is the whole and we're trying to find the part. So just like what we did in method one, we simplified that 60%, that 60 over 100. I'm gonna do the exact same thing here. So I'm gonna make an equivalent ratio by simplifying just like I did in method one. So divide both by 20 and I get an equivalent ratio of three to five. And now, look how much easier this is gonna be. I know I wanna find the equivalent ratio when 55 is the whole. I'm trying to get to here. And now, because I made uh, an equivalent ratio by simplifying first, it's much easier. So five to 55 is very simple. That's times 11. Three times 11 is gonna give me 33. So again, 60% of 55 is what number? Well, 60% is right here. The equivalent ratio, when the whole is 55, that would be 33 as well. So two different methods, the exact same problem, gave us the exact same answer. Hopefully one of these methods is gonna work for you and uh, 
and really makes sense. So here's a few to try on your own. Maybe try each method, see how you do. Okay, this time around, we're not actually gonna be finding the part of the ratio, we're actually gonna be finding the whole. So for this question, it says 30% of what number is 24? So 24 is the part, we're trying to find the equivalent whole. So again, we're gonna do two methods. The first one, same type of thing, we're gonna use the keywords. So I'm gonna start with 30% times what number? So I'm gonna put, just like last time, put the question mark, is, that's that equal sign, and is 24. So what if I did three times what number equals 15? You would probably right away say, well, that's easy, that's five, right? Just because you know your multiplication tables. What if you didn't know it was five just because you have it memorized or have done it so many times? Is there another way to, to get five from what we're given here? And if you said, well, 15 divided by three is five, you're exactly correct. So before we had a multiplication equation, right? We were multiplying the percent times, um, times the whole. What we're gonna be doing now, instead we are gonna be taking, um, we're gonna be taking that part and dividing it by that first number, the percent. So 15 divided by three will give us that question mark. So if we have something like this, where we're trying to find this number, 30% times something equals 24, to get that, all we need to do is the exact same thing we did here, so we're gonna need to do 24 divided by 30% is gonna give us that number that we're looking for. So I'm gonna write 24 as a fraction, so 24 over one, divided by 30%, we're gonna write that as a fraction, so that's gonna be 30 over 100. Dividing by a fraction is the exact same thing as multiplying by its reciprocal, so I'm gonna bring this up here with a little bit more space. So that's gonna be the exact same as 24 over one, keep the first number the exact same. Ti uh, division changes the multiplication, so times the reciprocal, so that's gonna be 100 over 30. 100 over 30. 130, I could easily simplify both by 10. So 100 divided by 10 becomes 10. 30 divided by 10 becomes three. And then I can also simplify here. The three and 24 have a common factor of three. So three divided by three, whoops, is one. 24 divided by three is eight. And 8 times 10, very simple, is 80. Let's try the second method and see if we get the exact same answer. So if you haven't guessed, just like the first example, we're going to do a ratio table. And we're going to start off with our percent. So 30%, that's 30 for the part and 100 for the whole, as always. And it's 30% of what number is 24? That 24 is a part. So I know I'm going to need to get to here. I want to find what the equivalent whole is going to be when 24 is the part, is what we're doing. Unfortunately, to go from 30 to 24 is not easy, right? But just like what I did here, I simplified. I can do the exact same thing uh, with my percent first. So let's do that. I'm going to divide both by 10 and simplify. So now 3 to 24 is very easy. That's just multiplying by 8. So I got to do the same to make sure it's equivalent. And wouldn't you know it, when 24 is the part, we got the exact same answer of 80. All right, here's a few more to try on your own.